Hey everyone, so uh, I figured you might benefit from seeing a video of me kind of thinking through a trigonometric identity. So we're going to look at this one here. So tangent of theta plus cosine of theta divided by sine of theta is equal to 1 divided by cosine of theta plus cosine of theta divided by sine of theta. Okay, so we're going to prove this trigonometric identity. And I'm also going to kind of vocalize the thought process I'm going through here. So. First of all, we need to split this down the middle, just like I showed you guys, because nothing's allowed to cross over uh, over the, the equal sign, and we're also not really allowed to use equal signs on any lines from here on out, because that would actually, uh, well, that, that's against the rules because we're trying to prove that the initial identity is true, okay? So we're not allowed to use equal signs between the different sides. We're allowed to use them on each side, but not between them. So we just split this in half, and I'm working on the left side. Okay, so the first thing that I notice uh, is that uh, I have, on the left side, one big fraction, and on the right side, I've got two fractions being added together. So what I'm going to want to try to do is I'm going to try to work on the left side, and I'm going to try to turn that into two fractions. And since both tangent of theta and cosine of theta are being divided by sine of theta on the left side, um, I'm going to divide them each individually by sine of theta. So that's going to look like this. So I'm going to have tangent of theta divided by sine of theta plus cosine of theta divided by uh, sine of theta. So I've basically taken that big fraction and I've turned it into two fractions that are being added together, which looks a little bit more like the right side. Now, I'm allowed to do this. I'm allowed to split this fraction, um, and uh, I'm going to tell you how. So think about it this way. Uh, if I have this now, and I wanted to add these two together, I have a common denominator of sine of theta, which means I could just add the two tops, tangent of theta plus cosine of theta, and put it over my denominator of sine of theta, and I'd have the, the, the left side, like the original left side again. Okay, so I, I am allowed to split this, okay? It's just kind of working backwards from adding two fractions, okay? So now that I've split this into two fractions that are being added together, I also notice that on the left side, I've got a tangent of theta there, and on the right side, I only have sine of theta and cosine of theta, okay? So I want to get rid of that tangent of theta, and easiest way to do that would be to replace that with sine of theta over cosine of theta. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to have sine of theta divided by cosine of theta, that's replacing tangent of theta. That is being divided by sine of theta, and to that I'm adding cosine of theta divided by sine of theta, okay? So now everything's in terms of sine and cosine, and it looks like I can kind of simplify uh, sine of theta over cosine of theta divided by sine of theta, okay? That first term there, right? That first giant fraction. So let's see. I'm going to take my sine of theta divided by cosine of theta. Now instead of dividing by the sine of theta, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of that. So I'm going to be multiplying by 1 divided by sine of theta, and then of course I have plus cosine of theta divided by sine of theta. Okay, so from here, I want you to recognize that in my first term, I have a sine of theta on the top of a fraction and a sine of the th uh, theta on the bottom of a fraction, those two fractions being multiplied. So that means I can actually cancel out sine of theta. Okay, and that's going to leave us with 1 over cosine of theta plus cosine of theta over sine of theta. All right, and it, actually, if you take a look, that is exactly what we have on the right side. So therefore, Left side equals right side, and the trigonometric identity has been proven. Okay, so I hope that kind of seeing the thought process go through might be a little bit helpful to you guys. Um, maybe it'll help you with the homework. Anyways, I'll see you guys on Monday. Take care.